starting this Monday off strong. Grades just came out for the fall semester. I haven't looked at them yet. Um, I've already started crying though because of just the buildup. So much buildup, but I'm going to look at them now and we're gonna do them, we're gonna do it together. I'm trying to actively remind myself that, you know, grades don't define me, had a tough semester, whatever, whatever. This is going to be a learning experience, like I said, before in a couple of vlogs ago whether or not i get a great gpa or a not so good gpa all of that's going to be a learning experience it's just like i don't know like thinking about fall semester just makes me so anxious it just kind of takes me back to just final season and all of that just all of those feelings and anxieties and depression and i just it's just wow <laughs> okay we got Mr. Avocado here, my emotional support today. I'm still crying and I haven't looked. I'm over here crying for no reason when I could have a reason to cry right here. So we're just going to look. Oh. What does that mean? What does that mean? I don't know what any of this means. I just looked at it. I don't know. Okay, so I've passed. I think I don't understand what it means, you guys. Okay, so just have been just sitting here. <laughs> Did I do absolutely well? No. Could I have done absolutely better? A hundred percent. And that's what this semester is going to be about i definitely have things that i want to work on and i want to be better at i've already implemented some of those changes for this quarter for this semester for already doing better one of the main things i want to focus on is just mental health in general <laughs> uh, because i feel like that just affected everything especially towards the end there i am really surprised though at my civil procedure because civil procedure is the one that kind of dropped me down uh, lower than I thought it would be because I thought I had a pretty great grasp on civil procedure. I will be talking to all of my professors to understand like what went on, what happened. I just made an appointment with my career counselor so that we can discuss, you know, like because obviously grades affect like a job search and stuff like that. With diversity fellowships, most of the times they really only seem to take people who are like the top five, ten percent of the class. I'm not at the top five, ten percent of the class, so let's just go there. I'm probably average um which for right now is okay but it won't be okay with me personally for this semester so the main thing i want to do is really just try and implement all the things that i was already thinking of after finals just you know making sure i'm staying on top of my readings most importantly is the mental health aspects that really fucking kicked my ass like that really kicked my ass towards the end there i started off strong and then i just dipped as you know my confidence dipped i was scared to ask questions or i just kind of hindered my own performance in that way so grades are out they're done they're out i don't know why i was crying so much about it it's okay. It's okay. I'm alive, I'm well, and it's fine. Y'all look at my little affirmation app and what it decided to send me today. Thank you. Anyway, it feels so good to just have that like over with, basically. Like, don't know necessarily why I was crying. Like I said, I wasn't crying because of the grades specifically. It was just like the build up, and I'm glad that that's done, that's over with. I'm setting up right now my little desk area to go into my constitutional law class that starts in about five minutes. That should be interesting uh, in relation to like seeing everyone after they've gotten their grades back. I hope everyone's fine. I hope that they're okay. I also didn't mention that I, I guess, I'm starting to make friends. One of my classmates reached out to me after our first class on Tuesday last Tuesday and um, she invited me to go like take a walk with her through one of the really really pretty places here on the campus and we did and it was great and she's amazing and um, we were kind of like very much on the same vibe about law school it was really interesting to talk to someone who she said the exact same thing that I said during the last vlog, which was like, I don't want to make law school my personality. And that's kind of the type of people I'm trying to draw in. So I'm happy that that's the type of people I'm drawing in. I'm really excited about it. But the way I'm about to body the semester is crazy. Like I have 
chills i have like like i can't even the, the apprehension i have no apprehension i have no stress i have the way i'm about to just absolutely just murder this semester and implement all the things that i feel like i need to to be successful is crazy it's absolutely crazy and we're gonna be on this journey together class now last class of the day it's still gloomy it's actually really perfect weather right now it's my favorite type of weather it's twilight weather it's billy eilish weather it's paramore weather it's it's amazing but i'm actually i think ahead for the readings for wednesday because i was going to do readings today for my constitutional law class you guys know i like to do it a day before the day i do my readings for all the other classes because it tends to be lengthy and then it takes me a little bit to process the information um but i'm actually ahead so i'm probably just going to review today i ordered food off of instacart i was going to go grocery shopping i'm super tired though and i was talking to my best friend and she has a membership with them so it was free delivery free everything so it was just basically like i went grocery shopping except i didn't do it um so it's going to get delivered to me sometime before 7 p.m so that takes that off of my to-do list for today i'm like currently looking at my to-do list so i scheduled library time for tomorrow and wednesday so we're going to be in the library all day tomorrow for like readings and things like that and then i am going to run some errands right now i need to go to lowe's yesterday i accidentally so you're supposed to cut the wicks off of your candles and i had the little taper candles i did not cut the wicks off and i put them near my wall it's not bad <laughs> If there's nothing like wrong with it i just need to like clean up a little bit so i need to go to lowe's and get like a little sponge um and yeah come back probably study for my writing class is my main focus for today i, I suppose i'm um, just looking over facts again <laughs> that's the thing to get the grade the good grade that i want is to continue to look over the facts so i'm gonna do that and honestly i also want to stop at trader joe's and get the mac and cheese that i like if you watch my washington vlogs you know i have this mac and cheese they have this vegan mac and cheese and then you get like the little sourdough bread it's fantastic so i'm just gonna do my errands really quickly and then just come home and do what i need to get done good morning good morning it is tuesday yesterday went by so quickly i don't even feel like it exists like it's i woke up this morning can't believe that it's already tuesday but it is and i just i feel so well rested i didn't realize how much like things i was carrying until yesterday um but yesterday i was really tired really really tired and i thought okay yes i know i had all of this like pressure or anxiety i was feeling about grades but there's no way i should be this tired because of it then i remember that i'm literally walking around limping because i had a fantastic workout on sunday i followed a little workout posted by daisy b fit or daisy b i will post it because it's really good it's an all-around like lower body workout it is exhausting if you're new to working out on her like little workout she does five sets of like 15 to 20 reps dial it back because right now even though i do have like muscle memory and everything like that i can't go there right now like it'll take me some time to get there i used to be there i'm not there anymore i don't know why i attempted to be there so quickly because now i have like i'm really sore like super sore i was supposed to work out this morning i can't because of how sore i am on a whim yesterday when i was running errands decided to listen to call her daddy woke up this morning felt like that was a fever dream so i listened to it again and i can't okay there's no way that girls listen to that and take actual advice from that podcast right like i refuse to believe that girls are actually listening and taking advice to that podcast like i understand listening to it for like uh entertainment purposes but actual advice because i listened to it like one episode from yesterday to today and i've learned how to invade someone's privacy and also gaslight them to make them think i didn't invade their privacy all in one episode and i can't imagine if there was a podcast like this for men where they were talking so openly about how to lie to women well it probably is to be honest it probably is but i i just it's insane 
it's insane. If you listen to Call Her Daddy and you take advice from it and you watch me, well, I feel like that doesn't correlate. But if you do, let me know why. <laughs> because I'm so curious. There's no way that she actually, some 25 something year old woman, actually behaves that way. I'm, I swear, I feel like she's like not lying, but she's definitely playing some stuff up because there's, there's no way. Anyway, <laughs> I am getting ready to go to the library. It's about. 8 30. i booked a library session for today and also for tomorrow i've been trying to figure out days where i could just go to the library i'm glad i did because of how gloomy it is outside uh, my room is very cozy extremely cozy and um, so we need to get the hell up out of here um so we're going to the library from 9 to about 3 to 4 p.m i'm just going to be redo my readings for torts and for a property for both Wednesday and Thursday. And then since I have my readings done for constitutional law for Wednesday, I'll do the reading for Thursday tomorrow. I have class for my writing class today at around 11. So we'll do that while I'm library also. And yeah, I'm trying to like figure out what to bring for food. Uh, because I remember once in undergrad, I went to the library and I was there for a while like studying and I brought a whole ass baguette to school. like. I ate that bitch in the fucking library too. Like, who was gonna tell me shit? I was hungry and it was like huge, it was long, and I was, it was good. It was good too. <laughs> Breakfast this morning because I got my groceries last night delivered, and I love Instacart, so useful. But I have vegan uh, yogurt, some granola, and mango, and then I also got some green juice because I wanna make my own, but I just figured I would buy some. Y'all, before I leave, update on this green juice. It's not like the green juice I had before because that one kind of like had sugar. This one has no sh it has no sugar. It's actual green juice. It's health. It's disgusting, but cheers. <laughs> finally and I am not surprised that a lot of people I think myself included were struggling when things went online there's just something about being in like an academic setting like at the library or even like at a coffee shop or something that just flips a switch it's like that and you just feel like I'm on I need to be studying especially when you're surrounded by other people who are also studying it's just it's amazing Got a, all the stuff I wanted to get done, done. I stopped at Walmart on my way home. I got some melatonin because I'm still trying to regulate my sleep schedule. I tried over the weekend, it just didn't work. Like some days I stayed up really late, other days I went to sleep early. Like yesterday I went to sleep early. Over the weekend I was kind of staying up late. And I also got some multivitamins. These ones have no gelatin. I've been looking for ones with no gelatin because gelatin isn't vegan. And I finally found one. So also, I also got them because they have like this like sugar and sour thing on them. I don't know. I just wanted some candy too, to be honest. So there's that. I'm about to change it to something a little bit more like homey because I'm done for the day, basically, kind of. But I didn't show you guys my outfit today. I'm wearing this sweater, this puffer coat that I got from Boohoo, actually. And it's really weird because puffer jackets are really in right now. And it's strange for me to have to shop for something that I actually need instead of just want. So I needed puffer jackets and I was trying to look for them everywhere. And everywhere they were sold out because it's very in right now. But I got this one from Boohoo. It's white. It kept me warm all day like i was comfortably cozy the entire day um it's not long it kind of like goes to hits right at my not waist but like my hips so it has like a little string here at the back if you can see that and you can like uh, make it i guess more tight if you want i just left it like this uh, my little inner michelin man today channeling him there's no place i can put y'all but i'm wearing these pants they're like brown pants corduroy pants and then i'm wearing my little doc martens and that was the fit for today i'm about to make my best attempt at putting this bad boy together I'm surprised it came a day early with all the shipping problems. I'm so glad it's here, but it's really heavy. People online said it was supposed to be easy to put together, so we will see. Look at these instructions, baby. They are dumb bitch friendly. Let's go. Let's fucking go.
and here she is all put together why is it weird to have furniture now <laughs> like so strange but i can't wait till we actually get sun i feel like she's going to be so beautiful when the sun hits it she's beautiful right now really soft i actually really like it i was thinking well i could have gone for like a bigger couch but then i'm like for who i live here by myself this is for me <laughs> basically but i really like it um this little shelf here i'm still kind of hesitant about what to do with it specifically i don't know if it's going to stay there because i obviously want like a, a standing lamp here um so i'm gonna get it and then see where it's supposed to go i got rid of my little bar card actually someone bought it the other day some cute girls bought it so i hope they enjoy it also want to get like a mirror so I don't know where I'm gonna put that. That could also go here on this little section, maybe. Well, now that the couch is here, that was the biggest item that was supposed to come, I can start getting everything else, like the chairs that are going to be on this little corner that I'm at. So that might end up having to push some some of the stuff that way, which is completely fine. And then obviously, like I said, the frames are getting put up. Um, so that should be nice. And then the little thing over here on this corner is getting put up. I just need to start shopping for things to put in the shelves because if i just leave it like that it's going to be empty and i want some little um, pillows for the couch too so that's the next thing good morning i haven't shown you guys this yet so i'm gonna start the morning with it but i am a mother i am now a mother i have children this is my first baby. Someone on, not the last video, but the video before that mentioned that I should use like aloe hair mask on my hair. So she said to go get aloe and I saw this at Home Depot and I just got like a live one instead of just getting the gel. I haven't named her either. Um, I think she's like a foliage plant is what's the name? I'm not sure, <laughs> but I put her up here. At first the little, you can see like the little hole up there. Um, I put her there, but she was too close to the wall and the sun wasn't hitting her right. So I moved her and put a little bit of like a little, this thingy that hangs a little bit lower. Um, I did see when it was sunny, the sun hit perfectly, but now it's not. And I hope she's okay. I overfed her this morning. You can see the little water. Um, I'm a bad mom, <laughs> but I'm learning. I am learning how to take care of her. She looks beautiful. And then I like this like liquid plant food i'm gonna put it in tonight i just don't want to put them now because it's like they're wet i don't i don't think that matters for plants um but for me kind of does like so i'm gonna put them in later on tonight other room updates while we're here this plant came in last weekend to join its brother so now they are here i got this a little bit taller than that one because that one i believe is four feet and then this one is five, six, maybe seven, um, but they're kind of equal because of the way I bended them. And then I have these up here. Those are only there momentarily. I didn't know what to do with those. I got them at World Market. If you guys remember, they used to be on the corner of my wall. They used to be right here in my last room. Uh, I don't know what to do with them because I already bought something to go here. So we'll see when that comes in, if it looks better, it should because it has a little bit more color and it's more of what I want. But I just put them there because it was empty and I figured might as well just hang for a little bit. This corner of the room right now is looking good. The only thing I added aside from what it was already here was just some pictures. So I have a picture of me and my best friend right here. I have a family picture right here from when we were in Africa. It's the only photo that we have of ourselves here right now. So this is all my family in Africa. That's me right here. My sister, my sister, my brother, my mom, and then our cousin. So I added this photo right here. These are my dears from Washington. I am so scared to message the guy and ask them if all of them survived hunting season. So I'm just not gonna ask, <laughs> but these are them. And then I have back here, you guys can't see it, but it's a photo of um, the view from Washington. I think the last day or the day before we left, it was beautiful, but you guys can't see that. <laughs> the Tame Impala poster went up. I think it's about to fall again, but it went up. <laughs> I didn't want to put a real plant on this corner because the sun does not hit on this corner that far up and I didn't think it would survive it. This is fake. This is what I got from, uh, I believe Michael's last vlog, last, last vlog. And, um, I just had time to put it over the weekend, just started putting it. I wanted to do it with you guys, but I 
I figured when I have time, I should just do what I need to do because I don't really have a lot of time as of now that school has started. So it's there, it's beautiful. I like how full it is. That's basically all of the updates right now. Someone just please tell me why chairs are so expensive. Like I, mm, you get older and you realize why your parents get so mad at you for like stepping on a chair or forgetting to take your shoes off or you're like scuffing something and you think it's not that big of a deal. And then you get older and you have to purchase your own things and you realize, holy fuck, a chair, a chair, like one of those side chairs, $200, $170 for like one, like four what's in there bro are you putting like gold in there what is in there it's killing me it's killing me i want to get it on facebook marketplace or craigslist or anything like that so it might take a while for me to find the ones that i i want or just to find one that i like it is now 12 30 i have a library a reservation starting around 1 p.m so we're gonna head out very soon <laughs> right now basically and then I have class at 2, constitutional law at 2. I'm going to be reading for constitutional law today. And then I have some things to do for my writing class while we're there. We're going to be heading out, going to the library. I kind of want to stay home. Not going to lie. I want to stay home because this place is cozy as hell. <laughs> um, but I got to get out of here. So, yeah. Today's little fitty fit because these make me happy. Um, this little turtleneck that you guys have seen a bunch. I realize now that it seems like I wear the same clothes, but like I do. I don't have a lot of clothes that are like Durham appropriate. So this little thing from Nasty Gal because I don't have like a lighter jacket. Um, and I wanted kind of like a lighter one for this outfit, but it was between this and my leather jacket, which I don't want to wear that right now. It's a little jarring for the outfit. So this too, my little white pants from Aritzia, which I love, they're so warm and my ducks. Which, considering the fact that I actually have shin splints, I should not be wearing, but I won't be like walking um, a lot with them. Um, so, they're cute anyway. So, even if I will be walking, I would still wear them. so good to be in my house in my house every time i go to the library i'm trying to go to somewhere new like a different library just so i can see all of my options and utilize the campus that i am paying so much for and today's setting was gorgeous it was so gorgeous Ugh, gorgeous it made reading about constitutional law that much more fun i'm pretty sure i understood it a little bit better today so there's that. But I got a parking permit earlier this uh, week because I was parking near the library and it was about $8 for uh, four to five hours or something like that. I got a parking permit because that's just over time, I'm going to start going to the library a lot more. I'm gonna start going to the library on the weekends. It just wasn't like financially smart. So I got the parking pass and I parked in the little lot near the library yesterday when we went and I paid the $8 even though I had a parking permit because I felt too lazy and I didn't know where the garage is. Today, I decided to go early to look for the garage and while I was looking, I found it, kind of hit my car a little bit on the the curb we don't talk about that and i found it and i decided okay let me just park here for today like let me just go ahead and park here out i'm already here might as well just utilize my permit so i park today when i leave the library everyone in that little lot got a parking citation every single person got a parking citation except for me because i wasn't paying for the entire hours that i was there i was trying to finesse the system a little bit i was doing this at uci at some point it's like you pay for like a couple of hours that you think they might come around and check and then after like 5 p.m or after like 4 p.m you don't pay because you don't think they're gonna come check at night but i guess today they did yesterday they didn't Today they did, and everyone got a citation, but your girl. I really wanna to go to the gym, but I can't. I'm trying my best to not irritate the shin splints I've got going on. So I think I'm gonna do some yoga, maybe some restorative yoga, because I still feel really, really sore and terrible from my workout. And this is a curl, not a knot. 
my little curls. I have like a shoot I want to make and depending on if I want to do more work, I can do more work. But I was able to schedule some meetings with my mentors because all of them reached out today um, or yesterday night. I got like a bunch of emails like, oh, just because of grades, obviously. And I was like, you know, no, you know, I don't want to cut myself. You know, we, we good. We good for today. For today, we good. Don't get too comfortable. Don't get comfortable. But today, today be good. So I scheduled some meetings with them um, just to talk to them about like job searches and stuff. Good morning. It's Thursday. It's Thursday. <laughs> I have pimple cream on my face. And I have class in 30 minutes. There's no more coffee. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's see. Oof. Okay. You know what? We're just gonna roll with it. We can take it black. We're gonna take it with nothing. Cause we're that bitch. Hey, we can do it. We can do it. Just got out of class and ta-da! We have got a fucking gallery wall. The guy came earlier today and put it up when I was in class. And I'm so grateful because honestly, I would have never been able to do this by myself. But it looks so nice. It's so good to see it up on the wall. I have about an hour and 30 minutes before my constitutional law class. And because I already read for it yesterday, um, I am good. So I. I'm expired. This just inspired me. I think we're gonna go and stop at the thrift store really quickly and see if they have anything for me in terms of like chairs for the side of my living room since those are really fucking expensive. Like, so this is like an irrational thing. I know it's irrational, but every time I look for something that I want and then it leads me to Urban Outfitters, I just get so mad. <laughs> like the anger that rises through like, my core up to my my third eye chakra up to the crown it's just it's just crazy because i i like urban outfitters but i just know i just know that it's going to be way more expensive than it should be and it's so fucking annoying because it's so good looking anyway <laughs> to my constitutional law class with like three minutes to spare but we got some goodies at the thrift store here is the lamp that i picked up it is a little grimy so i do need to give it a good scrub i think all those things are gonna come off but it's like this purple lamp they had some other cute ones but they were like night lamps like little night lights and it just wouldn't do for my purposes so i picked this up i am thinking about changing this to something else maybe it works I think it really fits my space. It's just adorable. Another thing I picked up is this vase right here, which is not almost why I was late, but almost. <laughs> and um, I don't know where exactly it's gonna go, but I liked it. The thing I picked up is this jacket, baby. Get into it, get into it, get into it. I was just looking for a jacket like this last night when I woke up at 4 a.m. in the morning. I was about to buy it. It was like $45, $50 or something, but they were out of stock in my size. So as I was leaving the thrift store, I spotted this and I was like, wait, let me see if it fits. It's adorable and it is so warm. I do look like Bane though. If you guys have watched the Batman movie where he fights Bane, I do look like Bane. I do look like Bane. I realize that, but I'm warm. I'm warm as hell. And that's good for when it's like snowing because it was cold outside and I was just wearing Wearing this black um, sweatshirt that I bought from Boohoo that is not the warmest and I love it look at this look at this it has a little look at that so today is the full moon right and I ordered those prayer candles I was talking about that I use for my altar from Target because it's really hard to find them in stores now and when you try to get them online at like Amazon or any place like that they just hike up the price and I it's kind of sad because I feel like they've hiked up the price because lots of people do exposure from like TikTok or any other place. Lots of non-people of color who were already using these candles for their spiritual um, reasons or their spiritual practices. 
have discovered these candles and now all of a sudden to get one i think on amazon is like 10 to 12 dollars even those candles from the spiritual shops they, they're basically these candles but with a different um cover on it that they just print out and something like that so it's like 20 bucks for a candle it's crazy but the guy just dropped it off and he knocked on my door to let me know super sweet guy really cool southern accent to let me know that it he's like honey it, it don't sound good in there it really don't sound good in there and i was like oh shit um yep 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 a lot of them are broken okay this looks good so we got blue candle blue candle i wonder if i okay she has a scent weird okay pink candle <laughs> purple candle i basically just got a bunch of these candles some of them have like the the little emblems on them so what you can do so i've seen a lot of people do on inst not instagram youtube is that they just you put it in water and you just take it off if you want um that's probably what i'm gonna do it's the end of the school week for me i guess i mean i do have class fridays um, which you guys will see it's my writing class but honestly it's only one class so it feels like thursdays are the end of my week and i don't have to do any readings for tomorrow basically except for work on my writing assignment um which i have all weekend to do when it came to the chairs at the thrift store my issue with that was that i just don't know exactly what kind of chairs i want in this space just yet uh, i'm trying to decide between like uh wicker chairs like rattan ret chairs um here or just like one kind of big cozy white chair on that corner over there i think only one big chair would fit there i'm more aiming towards the white chair just because i already have a statement piece chair like obviously the couch is green but i have seen like from pinterest and everything like that that i could just go full blow and just color and be okay with that so i'm just kind of indecisive right now about what i want with that um and then international women's day i know we want to do something for that i don't want to go i don't want to go i don't want to go to the gym good morning i just got back from a one hour actually a two hour drive to and from because i got a chair i got a chair last night or the night before i was on facebook marketplace obviously i told you guys i've been looking for a chair since my couch came i actually was watching this video of this guy who does really great diys and i was seeing him diy like upholster a chair by himself and what he was doing was basically taking the sherpa like material or fabric and then just stapling it to a chair that he bought from ikea it was like under 300 dollars, and i was like okay maybe i can do that but you guys know me me putting my shelf together on my wall in my bedroom should tell you all you need to know about me diying but i was thinking i could do it i tried to like calculate how much it would cost me to get a chair versus me doing it by myself and it was very expensive like the fabric was super expensive as i was mulling over this idea this chair popped up and i was like it's exactly what i'm looking for and it was under 120 bucks here she is so i did decide to go with a more white comfy look i just seem to have a bunch of statement piece chairs in here which is fine i'm totally okay with that but it is that like sherpa boucle type fabric if you are into interior design and you've seen the chair from cb2 cb2 has a similar chair to this with this fabric for about 800 dollars uh, target has one that's like a knockoff for about 300 dollars obviously was not going to spend that much money on a chair here she is in the space and this is just kind of what it looks like it's getting very cozy in here which is exactly what i want and i am just super excited to start just decorating the rest of the apartment out of class and office hours for my constitutional law class it's office hours with the i guess i don't want to call her like a ta but generally i feel like all of my professors this semester are a lot less i i'm i don't know what the word is but they're just a lot more 
approachable and a lot less scary. Scary is the word. Like I'm not necessarily scared to go to them and talk to them about whatever's going on. I don't know if it's because of them specifically or like my mindset approaching uh, discussing with my professors or just everything regarding law school has changed. I don't know, but it just seems to be a lot better. I have some time before I have to go pick up the little lights, the, the lamps. Um, so I think I'm gonna go work out uh, in the next 30-ish minutes. So I'm gonna reserve my workout session right now. And I think this is a good time to talk about kind of like my plan for attack for this semester because it came to me yesterday. So obviously I got my grades back this vlog and I did okay um okay is not good for me <laughs> it is for this time because of everything that kind of happened but it's not what i want to stay at for my law school career so i've been trying to think of ways in which i can just implement things to make sure that the semester is even better like i know it will be better i just need to start implementing some things and i've been thinking about them i just got like a comprehensive plan yesterday when i was meditating so this is what it is so my fridays are my do you understand what the fuck is going on I will be spending like a couple of hours reviewing the notes that I took for the week's worth of classes and asking myself for everything, do you understand what the fuck is going on? Saturdays and Sundays are going to be my reading days. As of right now, when it comes to torts and property law, uh, I can do those readings on the same day. Um, and I'm kind of ahead right now also. So I can do that maybe like on a Sunday, on my Sunday. And then Saturday, I'll do constitutional law because like I said, reading dense, reading boring. I want to sleep. <clears throat> tired so i'm gonna do it on saturdays because i can just use the whole day to just kind of read it obviously this weekend i will be writing my trial brief i will be drafting it i should have a draft by monday at least my argument section should be done so that's something that i also have to do starting today and sunday that should be fine because saturday i'm going to do most of that too because i'm only reading for one class my library days from last week and also this week have like inspired me and they will continue because I am most productive during those times when I leave my apartment and I actually go on campus and I sit down and I do my shit like that's I get my shit done so what I'm also going to do today is schedule uh, library sessions for next week because everyone schedules like the really good spots early so I'm going to schedule my library sessions for next week and we will be going to the library Tuesdays and Wednesdays I will also maybe try and do uh, Thursdays but Thursdays aren't necessarily my reading days I think I can also do Mondays but I'm, I'm still trying to think about what days do I really need to do I feel like I really need to go and be in the library my phone needs to not be anywhere close to me anywhere close to my desk when I am in class here at home that's the good thing about school is that it's harder for you to be on your phone because your professor is staring at you all this other stuff it's a lot harder when you're at home and I've noticed what I've been doing it's a lot worse in my constitutional law class because the girl is boring okay and then sometimes my professor who's very sweet who go on a tangent and what will happen automatically I've noticed is that I will reach for my phone and I will scroll or I'll look for something or I'll look for furniture and then when it's time for me to click back in it's a lot harder so what I started doing is just flinging my phone on my bed and then just being in class problem with that this bad boy has internet so I just need to get better about that it just needs to go because I need to be 100% in class even during a tangent <laughs> so the overall theme of this is I'm trying to implement advice that I was given uh, often last semester before the semester started and throughout the semester from a lot of people who just said that they treated law school very much like a job like a nine to five job which now I really understand after last semester what the positive of that is and I want to try and implement it and see how it works for me because I can definitely see how you get burnout when you think that your job never ends like if I wake up and I'm doing law school and I I'm just continuously doing law school until I go to sleep every single day the burnout is so so quick like there needs to be at some point in my day where it's like okay stop like if i don't have to like if i don't absolutely have to be doing this right now stop working stop working and go do something else this week we've noticed i'm a lot more productive in the mornings i need to get up and get after it when it gets about 5 6 7 p.m my productivity starts to dip so i want to do this thing where i'm implementing okay i want to stop working as much as I possibly can around like 8, 
maybe seven, depending on the time of what I have going on, I want to stop working then. So my productivity needs to be at its peak or at its highest during the morning. So, but like waking up early, going to class, or waking up early, doing my readings, doing what I need to do, 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 and then stop. I feel like it's gonna help me so much more. When it comes to my workouts, I've been trying to do morning workouts. They're not working out for me because they tire me out. I lift heavy, and after I'm done lifting, I want to go to sleep. So what I'm gonna start doing when it comes to like my weekday workouts is to work out at night. One, to help me with my sleep schedule because I'll be tired and then I can go to sleep. And also to just make sure that I am keeping my energy for everything else I need to do during the day. But that is the plan of attack. Obviously, we will be going to office hours for my last professor, for last class, last semester, so that I can look at my tests and see where I got dinged and obviously learn from that. But that is the method of attack. Are you kidding me? You guys, look at this. I just tripped. <laughs> look at this gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh my God. I can't. I will be changing this because it's dirty, obviously. Get into this lamp. Get into this 80s lamp. Look at this deep. Ugh. Look at the details. Jesus Christ. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. My hair looks crazy as always. Ignore that as always. But I literally obsessed. I'm gagging. She did come with a sister. This is her sister right here. Just the exact same um, design. Just obviously more like a a side table lamp than a full on floor lamp. So what I've seen a lot of people do when it comes to these lamps is get like a nice spray paint and then just do the actual bottom, like the body of it. I don't necessarily feel like I want to do that right now because I think it looks beautiful on its own. I, I think I might just leave it and then just end up changing the shade to match like a color that I would like. Maybe I would change like the, the table, side table lamp and spray paint that. But as of right now, I think it looks awesome the way it is. I'm so in love. That little corner is just gag, get into it show you guys one more time because i just can't get over it but this is what it looks like on this little corner amazing now for this little library thing shelves that we got going on back there it will probably have to go i don't know where i could obviously just disassemble it and then sell it off to someone because i have two of them actually and only one of them is up i don't mind it here like the lamp right where it is but i would like it to be pushed back a little bit and if it's pushed back then this has no actual use but you guys let me know what i should do with this library thing over here with this little corner what should i do anyway i talked to my career counselor earlier today for like 15 minutes obviously because i got my grades back so i just wanted to talk to her about it and i'm all good with that because i do have an interview scheduled i was kind of freaking out about that so that's why I scheduled the session and we have for our next meeting which is next week we have interview prep which I'm excited for because ugh, we're gonna be prepping for that and then yeah this week was just kind of busy um as you guys can tell it was busy I was just kind of in the library most of the time which is what's gonna be happening from now on so they're gonna get kind of repetitive uh because you know we're gonna be in the library we're gonna be grinding using the campus you know what I mean the vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for subscribing and hanging out with me i love you peace